What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a new estimate, convert it to an invoice and pay it. I'm gonna to try to keep it short. Uh, I'm not gonna to go too fast or too slow, uh, just uh, in the middle. So let's check it out. Uh, the first step you need to do is to create a new estimate. The first thing you need to click on the plus green button right here. Uh, if you run the mouse over any of these, it's gonna give you um, uh, what, what it does pretty much. So you click on that and you have two options, a uh, new customer or existing customer. Let's go ahead with a new customer. Again, type in, type in the name, Let's say uh, Mark Smith. It auto capitalized for you, so you can type in just small letter if you want and just type in the phone number. And once you do that, you can click on save and add vehicle. Um, you don't have to select the vehicle manually. You could if you if you want to, but you don't have to. Just type in the license plate or scan the VIN number. You're gonna type in the license plate. You click and press enter, and it's gonna give you the the vehicle, uh, the VIN number, um, the year, make, model, and engine size, which is beautiful. That's the best part of VIP shop management. And just click on save and create estimate. In this case, don't worry about that because that card is belong to someone else. At least it will remind you save and create estimate and just like that by doing so you created an estimate this is the customer information right here if I want to edit I'm just gonna click on edit and I have more options if I want to make it a fleet account and a business I could and to edit the vehicle information there's an edit right there and you can make the choose the color and all that um, uh, underneath those information you have parts description of parts and to switch to labor there's a big button on the side right here we're gonna click on it and description of labor or service so that's how you navigate between parts and labor it's really simple and really cool by the way I know everyone else have it in one screen I still love it like this because it's more organized under parts you can add tires separately so you can switch between that so under the, this is the list of parts and underneath it there's the control for it. Um, if I go to labor, same thing, there's, an, uh, there's the control for the labor. Um, under under the, the parts section, there's parts and tires. So you can add tires separately if you want. And under the labor, you have multiples. You can add part, a labor, or fee, or sublet, so which is really cool. I'm gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna go into other uh, stuff just keep it simple so let's go ahead let's say we want to add brake pads how we do that just type in brake pads just the way you when you're used to handwrite receipts the same thing brake pads and just put it in the front dash front and the first thing you need to type in your cost and that, that way the program can tell you how much you're making money so let's say I'm getting it for $28.95 it's gonna give you a suggested price but you can always override it and say I want to sell it for $49.95 and you can add discount if you want right here. Make sure you add the part numbers. Just stay organized from the beginning. And uh, you can add the vendor right there. And let's say AutoZone. And we're gonna click on add. So that's how you add parts. If I wanna add labor, I'm just gonna click on labor and say remove and replace brake pads. And it's gonna show you your hourly rate and 0.8. Uh, you can add your your technician who's going to be working on it and click on add so that's how you add parts and labor it's really simple to add tire like i said just add tire and say uh, 225 let's say 60 or 16. Uh, let's say uh, good year and let's say your cost 45.95 it's going to switch the smart markup to tires markup and whatever you had it you can type in the part number you can say tire hog and add so that like I said you're gonna have a list of parts right here and list of labor right here and in this case when you add the tires actually it fills up the labor and the fee automatically if you set it up this way and um, if I want to edit any of these all I have to do is just click on it and change whatever I want say I want to sell it for $59.95 and just click update so to add it, it's really simple. Just click on it, and it comes. It brings it back to the control, and you change whatever you want. All right. So, like I said, this is an estimate right now. It's only an estimate. If I want to create another one, I can go back to the plus sign and create another one. Um, if it's an existing customer, I just click on the existing customer. I can search by two way by his name, or by the phone number. 
Um, to go back to that estimate, it's just next to it, there's the workflow. So when you're a new user, the first thing you need to focus on those two uh, buttons right there, the new estimate and the workflow. If I click on the workflow, uh, this is the estimate that we created. I Just to open it back again, I can open it back by clicking on it. Uh, once you, when at this po point, you make sure the total and you can click on your uh, right here where it says uh, uh, your profit just check your profit make sure you're, you're making good money on it and once you do that this time at this time you need to call the customer to approve it so you call the customer once you get approved for it you click on authorize the big button at the bottom here authorize you click on authorize and then click on if you want to oh, well i'm not going to talk about that okay never mind just click authorize and once you authorize it the estimate becomes an invoice and you will get an invoice number for it um, if I want to go back and just go back to the invoice, now the estimate is not here anymore because it became an invoice. Uh, it's going to be under in progress invoiced. So we're going to click on it. Oh, I'm sorry, I clicked on the wrong one. The second one right here. So we're going to click on it, and this is the one, this is the invoice number that we have. If we want to add uh, more things, let's say I want to add alignment, you can set up those quick buttons at the bottom, whatever you want. You can click on alignment. And it adds alignment automatically, but you still have to authorize it. Just click authorize and authorize. Once you're ready to check out the customer, just click on pay invoice and just select the payment option. Click on let's say credit card. Um, if you want to charge credit card fee, you could um, or say continue credit card visa last four digit authorization number. Click on pay and print uh, if you want to email it you can email it too just enter the email right here and once it becomes an invoice once it becomes an invoice on the workflow it's not going to be here or here uh, it's going to be automatically sent to the reports or to access your reports you're going to click on reports right here type in your passcode and go to your daily report and it should be the last one right here we can open it from here this is the invoice that we just created if i want to edit it i could but only from uh, daily report i just click on the menu right here click edit invoice and i can change anything i want and when i'm done i just click on close invoice and exit and then this is the daily report you can see how much you made money every day you can go by by day by day or you can go by month or by week or by year so which is really cool Anyway, I just want to make it short that way, you know, it doesn't bother people and I'm going to be making more videos just section at a time. I appreciate you guys until next time. Thanks for watching.